welcome back folks to our second episode of 90 Minute Mechs. In our first episode we laid out these ground rules for how I aim to show you some cool colour schemes for your Battletech miniatures that can be executed in 90 minutes or less. However, in the interest of making things a little bit less start-stop and because we now have an episode under our belts, I am going to change the format very slightly just to help increase the digestibility of this tutorial. So instead of stopping at the start and finish of each section to budget out the time, I'm actually just going to take you through the painting process but keep the timer in the shot so that you sticklers can see what's going on. This will hopefully speed things up nicely and just make the videos a little bit easier to digest. But if you prefer the old format with the stop start bumpers at the beginning of every section and the reveals at the end of every section, let me know in the comments below. Always more than happy to work with your needs. Today's piece is going to be this Clan Blood Spirit Iota Galaxy scheme shown on a lovely 3D printed Mad Dog or Vulture or Hagataka. Right, no, we're just calling it one thing. It's a Mad Dog. We're calling it a Mad Dog, okay? So stick around, grab your gear, and let's get ourselves a fast and easy mech to add to the collection. But before we get into doing that, I would like to just ask you to give this video a like if you enjoy it and to consider subscribing to the channel and checking out the links in the description below for ways that you can support the channel. Now let's get painting. Since priming and cleanup isn't included in my time limit, I'm starting with Viejo model colour Iraqi sand mixed with a little matte varnish as a primer. Again, I own an airbrush so this is easy for me, but sandy tan rattle can paints do also exist and you can also just brush on your primer colour. And kicking off the actual painting and therefore the timer, we're just going to start with an all over wash of Agrax Earthshade from Citadel. We'll be wanting to clean up the flat panels here, so using a wet brush to move shade off of them is also worth the little extra effort. Either way, this isn't going to take you long. And of course, I already messed up and didn't bring the timer in shot. But fortunately, I did notice before I finished this step, so here's me pulling it into shot just to give you an update of how I'm doing. We're next going to paint in some areas that we'd like to be orange using Viejo model colour Bright Orange. You can take your pick of these really and just choose areas that you think look cool. For now, just a flat painting of the panels leaving the Agrax in the recesses. And step four is maybe a little bit predictable. Uh, Viejo model colour Matte Black onto all of the areas that we want to be black. However, while these are still wet, I'm also going to use Viejo model colour Intermediate Blue to wet blend in some basic highlights on them. And then just a little edge line in here and there too. This will basically get the black parts near as makes no difference finished in a single stage. Step 5 is tidying up our main panel colour, but we're not going to straight up just paint them out. Even with removing excess Agrax, the shade will have still darkened these panels down a little, and we can use that for some free modulation. So with that in mind, we'll go back to our Iraqi sand colour, thinning it with a little Viejo glazing medium, and building up some subtle gradients on the panels instead of just making them a flat colour. Again, while we're putting these gradients in, do feel free to tickle the edges with some highlights too. This step should be your longest single step, and by my timer we still have 50 minutes left, so there's really no need to rush. Finally, do feel free to use a lighter colour here than Iraqi Sand too, if you feel like you need more contrast. Washers can be a bit unpredictable in how much they stain, which is one of the reasons I don't always like to use them. So if you want a brighter highlight, just go for it. For step six, we're also going to do a sort of glaze type application as previous, but this time to shade down our orange using VMC Cavalry Brown. Again, just building up a few layers to create some simple transitions. These don't have to be super neat and clean and tidy, because as I often do when painting mechs, we're going to use battle damage here to allow us to work a little faster. For our next step as we near the finish now, I'm going to grab a really dark brown. In fact, I actually ended up mixing this one with black and Viejo model colour German Camo Black Brown to get it super dark. The objective now is just to quickly run around the model, add in chips, stings, streaks, scratches. Normally I'd do this step after the digital camo, but since the digital camo on this scheme is black, the dark brown just wouldn't show in those areas anyway. Speaking of the digital camo, that's the next step, and it's literally just painting randomly sized and positioned triangles in black. This is freehand, it's going to require you to use the very tip of your brush, 
um, it's going to require you to be quite careful but the main thing honestly to making this look good is that digital camo should be random so just try not to let your brain talk you into painting regular patterns with the triangles and you'll probably get something that looks decent so you can just see in the background here we have 17 minutes left and the mech is basically done it really just needs some finishing touches so as with the last video for the final section i leave this up to you this is going to be dealer's choice how you want to base it how you want to finish it off 17 minutes is plenty of time to do some cool stuff I'll do my finishing touches here off camera and then we'll come back together for the final reveal to discuss what I chose to do just to bring this to looking finished. And here it is. So as you can see, I went for just lots of really little but really quick embellishments that individually take no time at all but together add up to look great. So firstly, I got the 3D printed base painted up which was like three minutes of my 17. It's a really simple base. Then I just very quickly sped around the model with some ivory and a brighter orange, selectively picking out some edges, making some more scratches and dings, just to up the overall contrast of it on the panels. And as you can see, I still had a few minutes left to spare at the end of all that, and this one's now a wrap. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video showing a super fast clan blood spirit mad dog. Special thanks to users Tony Hicks for suggesting the scheme and Admiral Van Nova for suggesting the mech. Do remember to comment with your suggestions for mechs and schemes so that I can add them to the list and we can consider giving them the 90 minute mechs treatment. And now all that really remains is for me to say thank you very much for watching and to wish you happy hobbying. I'll see you in the next one folks. Bye bye for now.